Improper integrals involve asymptotes, namely when we let x go to negative infinity or infinity, or if the function has a vertical asymptote and we integrate around that point. So let's consider the cases when we integrate f from a to infinity, from negative infinity to b, or from negative infinity all the way to positive infinity. These are the three cases that you see here with their definitions. And so, for example, the integral from a to infinity of f of x dx is obtained by taking the integral from a to b of f of x dx and then taking its limit as b, the upper limit, is go, goes to infinity. Similarly, for these other uh, improper integrals, we have these definitions in terms of limits. Now let's compute some improper integrals. Evaluate the following improper integral, pause the video and input your answer in the box. Hope you paused it and have inputted 1 for this improper integral. So it's the integral from 0 to infinity of 1 over x squared dx. We can, uh, by definition, write it as the integral from 1 to b of 1 over x squared dx and its limit as b goes to infinity. Now this integral, before taking the limit, is uh, negative 1 over x as x goes from 1 to b. So um, that uh, net change is simply negative 1 over b minus negative 1 over 1. We need to take the limit of this expression as b goes to infinity but that expression is uh, positive 1 minus 1 over b. When b goes to infinity, 1 over b goes to 0, and so in the limit we get 1 minus 0 that is equal to 1. Let's look at the next question. Evaluate this improper integral, pause the video, and input your answer in the box. Hope you paused it, and I found this uh, integral to be e. Um, now we can, again, by definition, uh, evaluate this improper integral by taking the limit as a goes to negative infinity of the definite integral from a to 1 of e to the x dx. Uh, that integral before taking the limit um, is the net change in e to the x as it x changes from a to 1. So it's the limit as a goes to negative infinity of e to the first power minus e to the a. Well, e to the first power is just a constant e, whereas the limit of e to the a as a goes to negative infinity is zero. Therefore, we get for our answer e. Let's go to the next question. Evaluate this improper integral, pause the video and input your answer in the box. Hope you paused it and I've inputted 2 for the value of this improper integral. So we may evaluate it directly, but then we need to be careful at x around 0, integrate from epsilon to 1 and then take the limit as epsilon to goes to 0. Or we may also use substitution, uh, let the new variable u be 1 over root x. That of course means that um, 1 over u squared is x and then uh, negative 2 over u cubed du is what dx is. Changing the variables in this way means that we are integrating from, well, when x is equal to 0, when x approaches 0, u, that is 1 over root x, approaches infinity. And when x um, is 1, then we get 1 for the value of u. And then we need to take this integral of 1 over root x, that is just u, times dx, that is negative 2 times uh, negative 2 over u cu uh, cubed du. Now that negative sign could be used to flip the limits of integration so that we integrate from uh, 1 to infinity instead of from infinity to 1 uh, of um, 2 over u squared after simplifying by one factor of u, du. So this is simply twice the improper integral from 1 to infinity of 1 over u squared du. And this was the first integral in the video. So it's simply 2 times 1, that is 2. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.